This winter, prepare for extreme weather conditions. You will encounter deadly snowstorms and whirlwinds of fire. This is Siren, and this is Harpy. Both carry special missiles to wreak havoc on the enemy positions. We'll let them fly in just a bit. The twins will start their attack by deploying a teleportation beacon. This is their way to escape once things go heated. The next moment, they will be high above the ground, hovering over the battlefield. This is where you get to fire those missiles. And here is how Siren does it. See the enemy entrenched at point D. Siren attacks. Battered and frozen, they are now an easy target. Harpy is just as dangerous. All robots caught within the fire nado will overheat, dealing additional damage to one another. But what if we combine the powers of ice and fire? Let's save it for last. First, we have to check how Siren and Harpy fare against one another. Siren and Harpy pack the same amount of firepower. Both robots also carry reflector shields that stay active while they are in the air. If you hit the shield, you take some damage back. None of the two will have an advantage over the other. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Speaking of balance, the elemental duo has an obvious weak spot. They can only play to their strengths when they are in the air. Take Harpy. On the ground, it's an ordinary robot, rather squishy, with zero defense. Nail it to the ground, and it won't be too much of a threat. A well-timed hit by an MP will leave both Harpy and Siren helpless. Ok, now it is time for combined attack. We'll leave the question of what really happens here to actual scientists. But on the practical level, nobody would want to be caught in that snow firestorm. Enemies in the radius move slower, become vulnerable and take severe damage. Siren's cryogenics and Harpy's combustibles together create a perfect kill zone. Get out if you can! That's it for this overview. Take command of the elements. You are a commander, after all. Happy hunting!